against Texas from the 35. That's going to, I think this is a 15 yard. Yes, I think it is a 15 yard. Interference for the fire catch, five. five yard penalty. Defense, first down. Well, we were only off by 10 yards. That's the first time we've seen that all season long. Cliff Gross is in at fullback. And the tailback will be uh, Greg Hill. There is a flag drop before the snap of the ball. And Dave, I was looking back to make sure that was uh, Greg. The Aggie offensive line was in motion. It'll be a false start. And it'll be a five-yard penalty against the Aggies. Trying to extend it to 15 here tonight. First down and 10. They need the 50 for a first down. We'll go to Cliff. Cliff hits the left side. And we'll get uh, maybe two and a half yards. Cliff Gross is the fullback. Greg Hill the tailback. Laker left. Play action. There's pressure coming. Throw the ball back this way. Gross will catch it and then drop the ball. It's incomplete at the 40-yard line. And they come out with a shotgun formation with a running back on either side of Pulling. Takes the snap in the pocket. Looking, looking. Throw the ball. And it is through the hands of Ryan Matthews at the Texas 48-yard line. More than enough for the first down. But it went right through Matthews' hands. It would have been a difficult catch, but it was a catchable pass. David Davis tonight, 42, 35, and 53. As the snap, outside pressure. They were coming again, and they have kicked the ball. And at the 22, a return here by Adams. They are closing on him, and he will be caught at the 27-yard line and dropped there. Texas breaks the huddle. They show the Aggies a uh, split-back formation. Now they shift. Shift again. Now to an eye. Two shifts. Ags moving people around on the defensive front. And they will have play action. Gardier under some pressure will be caught. And he will be dropped at the 25-yard line for a sack. And that's a loss of about three yards at the 25. Jason Atkinson made the stop for the Aggies. Crawford checking back in the ball game here for Texas. Looks like the starting 11 out there defensively. Again, Texas making a lot of shifts with their running back and finally settled on an eye. And it's play action, deep pocket, Gardier, look, it has time to throw, and it's going to be caught at the 41-yard line, and then bounced out of bounds into the Texas bench by Patrick Bates. First down and 10, Texas at their 43. Time running out here in the first half, an eye formation, Texas, and they're going to go on the handoff with the second man, Walker, big hole, 50-45, tries to put a juke on a man at the 40, goes to the 39-yard line. At the 39, Walker Patrick Bates on the stop. So now they start to move the ball with 5.34 to go here in the first half for 19 yards by Adrian Walker. His longest carry of the season has been for 88. Uh, this He's is a leading ball carrier, Dave, with 7.74. Cut back for Walker and a holding, holding right in the middle of the hole by the Texas offensive lineman was uncaught. And it is an eye formation. Texas at their 38. Ags may be coming on a blitz. And it is caught and dropped here as Atkinson crashing through. He caught Gaudier around the ankles. And where are they going to spot him down? There's some indecision. 48-yard line. 48-yard line. line. Nice bit of uh, play there by Jason Atkinson. That will be a loss on the play of 10 yards. And they will face second down and 20 now. We'll need the Aggie 27 and a half for the first down. Gaudier never saw him coming. The Aggie's blitzing both inside linebackers. The back was supposed to pick him up. He was unable to. And again, Gardier will be a draw to the backfield. A little bit of room. Then it closes down in a hurry as they get the ball to the Aggie 43. Patrick and Bates up there from his free safety position makes a nice play. Adrian Walker on that carry. Bates, as uh, Dave told you, on the tackle. They'll be going to the air unless they have uh, ideas on a draw. And they've got Phil Brown. And they shift back into a uh, shotgun formation. Deep pocket, Gardier. Way back in a pocket. Looking over the middle. And it's almost intercepted and then caught at the 31-yard line, but far short of a first down. It will be four yards shy. The ball is going to be caught by Derek Duke. Looked like it was a Ray Mickens that uh, made the tackle. I don't know who had the interception. Somebody had a shot at an interception and right through his hands. And they will go for this yep. on fourth down, it looks like. There's 3.36 left here in the half. Got to watch the long count. Walker checks back in. Gardner is the quarterback. He has the play from the sideline. And now they come to the line of scrimmage with 10 on the huddle clock. Split back formation. Line of scrimmage is the 32. They need the 27 and a half. Gardner under pressure, throws the ball, and it's going to be tapped away. That's going to be Steve Solari. The ball was intended for Brown out of the backfield. Incomplete pass. Hunt down. The Aggies will take over. The Aggies with heavy pressure on Gardner. He was running away from the line of scrimmage as he let this ball go. He tried to loft it over Steve Solari. He was not successful. Solari knocks it away. And the Aggies will take over on downs at the 31-yard line. Pulling to the line of scrimmage. 
And they come out with an eye formation. Gross is the lead back. The tailback is Hill. Play action. Hill will stay in the block. They'll throw the ball. Gross, Gross, first down. Across the 40, down at the 42-yard line, 43-yard line. On oh, a pass out of the backfield. Had he been able to keep his feet, he would have gone a lot further, but the Aggies are in business at their own 43 yards. Really line. opening up this offense now, Dave. And out of an eye, it will be on Nuts play action again. Bullock's being chased. Now he throws deep. He has a man down there. And he'll be caught in it. Down at the 10-yard line. At the 10, that will be Brian Mitchell between two defenders. Oh, what a catch. What a catch. Corey Bullock letting it fly deep. He's got two Texas defenders down there, one Aggie. Brian Matthews comes down with the football at the Texas 11-yard line, first and 10. I think it was Brian Mitchell, wasn't it? Let's check here in a moment. I think it's going to be uh, 18. Yeah, Brian Mitchell on that reception of 47 yards. And Mitchell, his longest pass reception this year has been 39. Oh, and what an acrobatic catch. He looked like he was a ballet dancer up on his toes, stretching out his hands completely, and he comes down with the football. The Aggies took over after Texas gambled and tried to pick up a first down on fourth down. An incomplete pass intended for Phil Brown, knocked away by Steve Soleri. And now a 47-yard pass down to the uh, Texas 11. Give it to Hill. Hill across the 10 to about the 8-yard line. Clock continues to roll at the 2.33 mark until halftime. Ags knocking on the door for a second touchdown here in the second period of play. They can get a first down by getting the ball inside the two to about the one. That would be the spot needed for a first down. They break the huddle and now come to the line of scrimmage. Gross stays in at the fullback position. The tailback is Greg Hill. Slot right, open side, more or less to the left. Pitch it to Hill, looking for a corner on the left side, trying to break it in, can't do it. Knocked down at the five-yard line. At the five, William Mac Garza will bring him down. And now Garza is hurt, and he is doing a hippity hop, coming off the field, holding that left foot up off the uh, off the turf. And now the training staff's going to catch him. He's hurt himself. And it's coming to Rodney, looking for the left side, headed for the end zone, touchdown, yes. reverse to Rodney, he set up on the right side and got it in for a touchdown, on a reverse, started right, took it left to the short side, nobody touched him. Let me explain this play to you, Rodney Thomas sets up on the wing to the right, he will run a reverse off of a fake to Greg Hill up the middle, they hand him the football, nobody touches him as he goes into the end zone to the left side, and the Aggies have a 13-3 lead with a point to come. Rodney set up as a wing back to the right side and came all the way from the right back to the left, and he went untouched, hit the pylon into the end zone. Now 13-3. Here is Benatuli as his point after is a good one. And now with 1.31 to go until halftime, it's the Aggies over the Longhorns. 14-3 in the showdown here in Austin tonight. And Atulius from the 30 and the 35 earlier tonight put the ball out of the back of the end zone, and he will uh, put this one two yards shy off the end line, and there they'll take it and go down on one knee. They'll shift into a shotgun. Fairly will try to put it in the air here and get something before halftime. Gardier rolling right now. will run with the ball. will go down at the 22. The clock will continue to roll at 114. Second down and eight, no huddle. Shotgun again, Gardere. Back in the pocket at the 11. He is being spun around by Atkinson. Now he throws it to the far sideline over the head of everybody. They have uh, stopped the clock at 103, and now they'll go uh, from a split back formation. I meant to keep it on the ground here. Clock won't start till the ball is snapped, and they do go on the ground. They're going to try to bounce it outside to Walker. Started right, now back to his left. Fumble the ball! And the Aggies, I think, have gotten it. But now they're, uh, is that a flag or is that the little bean bag? That's the bean bag. The Aggies have the ball at the uh, Texas. 29 Jesse Cox. yard line. Jesse Cox. Adrian Walker fumbled the ball. Cox will recover it. Big break here. Now the time. That's important. 54 seconds. 54 seconds until halftime. Well, a field goal here would be nice, but points, a touchdown would be better. He will put a slot to the left side. Mitchell and Harrison. Tied in right, breaks the slot to the open side. Mitchell's running. Pitch it this way. Here's Greg. Wants to throw the ball. It's going to be on a uh, pitch back to Corey Pullig. And he did the smart thing. Maybe Pullig intentional takes it. grounding. Pullig. They're Isn't calling it? intentional grounding. Greg Hill threw this ball way over Corey Pullig. But how can you call intentional grounding when he throws it over the head of the receiver? 
And that's what they've done. It'll be a loss of down. 